Hello everyone and welcome to the short presentation about some of the challenges of Shamal experience in distance learning. The experiences here are based on two Erasmus Plus projects, the Colibri project and the EPIC project. My name is Jens Mier Pedersen. I'm an associate professor at Aalborg University and I was actually project manager in Colibri and I am currently project manager for the EPIC project. So, you might be familiar with the EPIC project already because this presentation is mainly made for students in EPIC. Uh, the Colibri course was organized slightly different and I just want to go through the overall parts of it. So uh, in EPIC we have a kickoff and then there is virtual collaboration for the rest. In Colibri we had a virtual kickoff, then working on modules and online training before meeting in a physical seminar in April and then having a product work as a virtual collaboration and finishing with a seminar in uh, usually in July. So here we had actually two physical seminars and we had a virtual seminar also to kick it off. Another important part is that the Colibri course was only five ECTS products, so it was not such a big study load for the involved students. Uh, looking at the product work part and product work and how it takes place, we, is uh, Colibri and Epic are similar in, in their approach. The idea is to have a problem from a company, then doing the product work in the group in order to solve that problem and ending up with a product presentation and a learning reflection report. And during the product work, there is a lot of inputs from different uh, learning um, sources and learning activities. So uh, virtual meetings, literature studies, sharing documents, knowledge from the modules we provided or from other online sources product management skills, online collaboration using different collaboration platforms, having individual tasks, students working together with different backgrounds, getting feedback from companies, doing teamwork exercises, having supervisor meetings or meeting with companies and other experts. Um, so these are kind of the components which would be supporting the, the product work. Uh, but it was mainly virtual collaboration and this is uh, not so easy. So looking in Colibri, if we look at the evaluation from the students, we would see that in general the students found that the, learn, the learning in the product was very efficient. So um, actually 89% would say that the, the learning they achieved was efficient or very efficient. And here especially comes in also the, the, the virtual collaboration we can see. It's quite efficient, but we also see that it's, it's less efficient than the physical collaboration in the seminars. And the use of blended learning overall gets somewhere in between. So while it's still a very high number, uh, we see that um, if we look at, for example, the fire, who is saying that it's very efficient, it's 86% for the physical collaboration, but it's only 14% for the virtual collaboration. And these numbers actually improved through the three years of the project, and this was for the last year. So we see that virtual co collaboration is challenging and it's very important to address that uh, uh, at the early phases of the project. Um, I also wanted you to show the motivations for actually doing EPIC and this is from the second year. And we see there are three main reasons for joining the EPIC project. So to get the experience of working in an international environment, to do a real life project that will be useful afterwards and to collaborate with students and professionals from different backgrounds. And we are quite happy to see that these are the motivations that students come with because we think that this is also what we uh, are really good at deliver in the project. And that also demonstrates that it's really important to get hold of the, um, the virtual collaboration because if you manage to get the virtual collaboration um, uh, working in a good way, then it's also much, much easier to fulfill the, these points. So our recommendation is to really spend the time wisely at the seminar because the seminar is the place where you have the chance to kickstart the virtual collaboration. And what is happening here is crucial in order to have a good virtual collaboration afterwards. Um, to get to know each other well and create a good atmosphere because you really need that to have the virtual collaboration afterwards. Get a good joint problem understanding because if you leave the seminar with a joint problem understanding and an idea about um, the product and the process forward, then you are much better in a position than if you don't have this joint understanding. And try to get a little uh, deeper 
uh, try to get as deep as possible as you can during the seminar because the deeper understanding is what will be helpful for you afterwards. Also agree on precise milestones and involve your supervisors on the product content process and milestones so you have a solid plan that you can follow afterwards. We have made some templates for you. Uh, I really recommend to use them because they will help to structure the process and make sure that you don't forget anything which will be hard to, to deal with afterwards. And of course it's also important to have a structure, structured follow-up on the progress because that will be a big help for you. So with this, I will say thank you for listening to this presentation. I hope that the virtual collaboration will be a good experience for you. Uh, and again, I would like to emphasize how important it is really to um, uh, to prepare well for that during the seminar we will have in Hamburg. Thank you very much.